welcome back to Crochet ADHD. I'm your host, Jackie. If this is your first time to my channel, hello, you are a one hit wonder. I'm glad you're here. If you are a repeat offender, a member of the Glam Fam, what's up y'all? <laughs> I didn't have anything fancy to say, so I just figured I'd go with that. Today's episode is another honest review. My friends at Whisk F reached out to me again, this time uh, to review some new style bags that they got in. I have not opened the bag, so I'm going to do that right now, and hopefully I'll be able to do it quietly. I have my handy dandy scissors, so that should make things go better. Here we go. Oh my. Okay. <laughs> so now if you remember the first bags that I had gotten from them, um, they were tote bags, so they didn't have any kind of closure on them. And I was talking about how to possibly make them, uh, how to make bottom, you know, how to box the bottoms or whatever. Update, I have not tried to do that yet. But I did have several Glam Famers reach out to me to try to explain it to me and tell me that it is it is absolutely possible to do it. So I, at least I was on the right on the right path with my thought process. So yay! All right. So now these bags are new in that um, I believe they have zippers across the top, um, and I chose I think four. And wait till y'all see these. Okay. Again, more plastic. So. I'm totally 100% in love. Y'all ready? Look at this. Wow! I mean, the color is just like... And... Okay. Two handles. And a zipper! Yay! And also... Let's see. Okay. There's an interior pocket, and look, it has a box bottom. Ah, yay, awesome. Okay, these are absolutely 100% crochet and knit friendly bags, for sure. Oh yeah, this is awesome. I'll put the measurements right here so you'll be able, well, right here, I don't want to put it across my face because you know my money maker anyway um yeah I love this okay the fabric is it reminds me of maybe like a windbreaker kind of fabric on the outside but the back feels um just like a a, a heavy duty uh cotton maybe and, a, and also on the bottom the inside is like typical liner material, but I like that the um, zipper matches the color on the, the bag here, and I do absolutely love the interior pockets. That's great. Okay, so this was design number one, and I'll put the information right here across the bottom of the screen. These bags are really very affordable, um, which is, you know, always a plus. Okay. Here's bag number two. This bag says to me that whatever you put in here for your project, it has to be wool, okay? I mean, okay. Again, same fabric on the front. Same, it looks like the same color in the back. It's the boxed bottom zipper oh even the inside is the same color and also the inside zipper pocket look at I mean the colors are just so cute okay bag number three Here's something else y'all didn't know about me. I love owls. Look at this. How cute. 
how cute. This guy, he reminds me of the fourth doctor, Tom Baker. Whovians out there? Anyway, look how adorable. Again, the same color gray on the back. And I'm going to guess that the inside is also the same brown, which is fine. And it is. Interior pocket. Does not have a smell. You know, me and smells and stuff. And this is adorable. Hey, look. Hello, world. Is it? Okay, that's... Is that a dove? I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm going with Partridge. Hello, world. There's a song. Okay. <laughs> I love it. All right. And our last one. This is a twofold why it's awesome for me perfectly. Whatever. I'm going to open it. I'll show you. And I have a feeling some of you will be able to peg it right away. But I digress. Here we go. All right. So before I show you this one. A little more about me. Um, when I was homeschooling my daughters, we did art history and um, through art history I came to realize personally that my favorite art period is Impressionists. And in saying that, one of my favorite Impressionist artists is Vincent van Gogh. Okay. Or Vincent Van Gogh, whichever. Now, the only thing missing, and this is definitely a Whovian geek here. Anyway, the only thing missing from this picture is a TARDIS somewhere around here. But other than that, it's perfect. <laughs> okay, again, same gray back and uh, matching zipper with brown interior and interior pocket. I love these bags so much. Fun, fun thing. So starting December 28th, um, the Young Folk Mix podcast whew, is uh, starting a... I, my brain does not work. It's They're starting a knit-along uh, for a bougie sweaters and um, crocheters are invited to it uh, to participate as well. And I am going to be making a bougie sweater. I will be using a pattern from Grace for the Frills because you know I just can't help myself. I've not made this pattern before, but it fits the criteria as a bougie sweater. And basically a description of that would be a sweater that you wear similar to a sweatshirt or it has a style that is similar to the sweatshirt. Some of the ones that I had chosen on my top 10 sweaters on Ravelry uh, video do qualify as a bougie sweater. So if you're interested in, in participating, there's that. But the yarn I'm going to use is the yarn I had gotten from Hannah from the Cozy Cottage Crochet. Cozy Crochet Cottage. Y'all, why can't I get this? Anyway, it's from Hannah from the CCC <laughs> podcast, and it was the, um, oh, what is this yarn called? It is Vitalana Oasis in the color Casablanca, and it's like um, wool and different kinds of alpaca, I believe. Anyway, I just uh, wound up the first hank, and so she's ready to go. And she will be living in one of my new bags. With that being said, I am going to be gifting one of these bags along with some yarn. It'll be, I can't reach it right now. Um, hold on. Okay. You'll be receiving eight balls of, what is that? Oh. There's a glare. Oh no. Okay. Of the Rossetti Yarns Merino Mist. This is, oh, excuse me, 60% viscose, 20% acrylic. 
and 20% fine merino wool superwash. 50 gram ball, 1.75 ounces, 153 meters or 167 yards. And uh, it's a DK weight, by the way. And it requires size US 5 to 7 knitting needles, which is 3.75 to 4.5 millimeters, or 3.5 to 4.5. To, uh, 3.75 to 4.5 millimeter crochet hooks. Anyway, you'll be getting eight balls of this, which is, so you'll be receiving 1,336 yards, definitely enough to make a bougie sweater. So, yay. So what do you have to do to enter the giveaway? You have to be subscribed to my channel. Please like this video. It is open to anyone in the United States. Also, do not mention the word giveaway in your comment, but just leave a comment. Let me know what your favorite bag is and, you know, use the word bag. So that way, when I use the um, random comment picker, it'll look for the word bag. So you could just say like, my favorite bag is, or I really like the bag that, blah, blah, blah. All right. Uh, excuse me. So my friends at Whisk App have also given us a discount code if you choose to order from them. And I will put the code right here. Take a look at this particular um, section. I'll have links directly to the bags that I chose. And uh, that way you can, you know, get more information and see the pricing. But they do have several that fall into this new category. I forget exactly how they're wording it, but I love the fact that it has the zipper top and the flat bottom. I think that that is perfect. Like I said, with the other bags, that was to me the only thing that was, it wasn't that it was missing, but it would have been really nice to have the flat bottom. So now it's like they heard and now they have responded. So yay to Whisk F for that. I can't tell you which one was my favorite. Um, I can't, I can't tell you. So anyway, if you like this video, please, please like this video so that others can come to experience the phenomenon known as Jackie. Yeah, I'm, I'm sticking with that. Yeah, I, I feel confident in saying that I probably edit this out. Okay. Anyway, um, sure, yeah, if you'd like to stick around and become a member of the Glam Fam, do so by hitting that subscribe button, and don't forget to rock that notification bell. All right, until next time, I've been Jackie.